What's up everybody and welcome back to Kumikichi Checks Out Some More Ludum Dari Games. Today we're going to be checking out Shadow in the Night. It's a, what appears to be a somewhat golf type game, but instead of trying to shoot a ball into a hole, you're trying to shoot a vampire to slaughter tons of innocent people. I have only gotten to the title screen so far, I haven't actually played the game, but the whole mechanic of this game seems really cool. You can launch your little vampire dude, and then if you click again, you can kind of guide him a little bit to where he should go, and he'll just kind of float around in that direction. So it seems like it'd be pretty casual and easy to play, but let's check it out. I have not seen anything of this. Oh, this dude's fucked. Oh, man. I was hoping to just one-shot him. Oh, okay, so it looks like you use blood to do your shooting. Which I guess is why it turns red, maybe? Whoa! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're also timed. Oh god! Wow. I fucked that one. I really like those games. Oh god. Alright. I was hoping I could just launch myself, but it doesn't look like I can. I was always... <sighs> Fuck me. Really? Get to land around on top of them? Okay. I was always a big fan of those games on like flash websites where you have to either shoot the arrow at someone or uh, launch cannons at someone or even just those games of uh, golf. Okay, I can't obviously jump up there. It's good to know. So the only thing limiting you here it seems is your blood count. So it gives you like a certain amount of blood that you can use to finish the level and it counts up your time. I don't know if there's a leaderboard, or if there's even a legit score system. Oh man, can I even make that? Oh, fuck me. This game is pretty cool though, it really reminds me of those physics-based games. Oh, okay, good, I got him. And that makes me happy, because I haven't played one of those in a long time, and I really miss them. Come on, you- Oh, it's so frustrating that you have to hit them right- on the dot. This is pretty cool though. I dig it. Where is the guy? Do I really have to go to a different screen? Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. Bring it on. Oh, I have to go to the right. Ah, gets it. Oh, uh, uh. This is definitely... Oh god, it costs to fly too. Fuck. At the very least, it's definitely unique. Like, I guess unique. Yeah, it's. I'll say it's unique. I haven't seen games like this in quite a long time, and I hope they kind of make a comeback because the the style of playing is somewhat casual, but it's really satisfying to play. Uh, I really like this one. Has like a little glide mechanic, which makes it a bit easier, but. I always like the games where you have to actually use physics to try to do stuff. And you have to actually like do trial and error on your physics. And when you actually get it, and you actually get it perfectly right, it feels so good. Especially for those ones where you're like launching uh, cannonballs or whatever back and forth. And you're like, oh god, I fucked that up. Just die. Just die. Yeah, I, I turned to dust. I don't think I turned to dust. I turned to pile of blood. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Oh! 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 So they're doing lots of cool stuff now that makes you do the floating. Come on, guy, you can do it. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! That gliding is not enough, man! Oh! Yeah, I turned the dust. I got it. Right there. Right there. Go up. Over. Over. Those little hops are the hardest. Let's see if I can nail this this time. Oh shit! Alright, it's alright, it's alright. If I go back down here... I can make it up here. And I can make it up here. I hope you don't die if you go off the screen. That would be unfortunate. Alright, now I just need to make a long ass jump over here. Boosh! Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, I bounced off the wall. That was pretty cool. So that's a good look at this game. This is Shadow in the Night. 
and I will put a link, of course, to the developer and the Ludendari page where you can play this yourself. And I would recommend it. I might actually, after this, go through and try to beat this game, because it gives me really those nostalgia feels, and I am a sucker for the nostalgia feels. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please like and comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Have a good one, guys.